Seventh Grade Illustrative Mathematics, Unit 7, Lesson 16, Applying Volume and Surface Area. Problem number one. A landscape architect is designing a pool that has this top view. A. How much water will be needed to fill this pool four feet deep? Deconstruct this top view. This section has the dimensions 11 by 1.5 and it's four feet deep. This section has the dimensions 9 by 10.5 and it's also 4 feet deep. And this last section that's in the shape of a triangle is 2 by 10.5 by 4 and since it's a triangle we need to divide it by 2. This gives you the volume for each of the three sections of the pool. Add them together and you know how much water will be needed to fill the pool 4 feet deep. This pool holds 486 cubic feet of water. B. Before filling up the pool, it gets lined with a plastic liner. How much liner is needed for this pool? We need to find the area for all four sides and the bottom of the pool. The dimensions for this side are 9 by 4 feet deep. For this side, 10.7 by 4 feet deep. By this little section, 1.5 by 4 feet deep. For this section, 11 by 4 feet deep. And this section, 12 by 4 feet deep. After we find the area for these walls, we need to find the area for the bottom of the pool. Let's find the area for the walls first and then come back to the bottom of the pool. Multiply to find the area for each of the walls, then add up each of their areas and you'll have the area for all the walls combined. The area for all these walls is 176.8 feet squared. And we'll add that to the area of the floor. To find the area of the floor, I'm going to treat this shape like a rectangle first and then I'll subtract this little triangle sliver from the side. I'll use the dimensions 12 by 11, which gives me 132. And for the little triangle, I'll use the dimensions 2 by 10.5, which is 21. And remember, it's a triangle, so we have to divide it by 2. 21 divided by 2 is 10.5. I need to subtract this from 132, which gives me 121.5. Now all I have to do is add that to the area of the walls. They would need 298.3 square feet of plastic liner. C. Here are the prices for different amounts of plastic liner. How much will the plastic liner for the pool cost? I'm going to use this information to figure out how much one square foot of plastic liner costs. 25 divided by 25 equals 1, and $3.75 divided by 25 equals 15 cents. That means that you can get one square foot of liner for 15 cents. So we can figure out the price by multiplying 298.3 square feet of liner times 15 cents. The total cost for the pool liner would be $44.75. Problem number two from 7th grade unit 7 lesson 13. Shade in the base of the trapezoidal prism. Be careful the base is not the same as the bottom. I shaded in two bases. Find the area of the base you shaded. Because of the shape of the base, I'll make a rectangle and a triangle. The dimensions of the rectangle are 4 by 5. To find the dimensions of this triangle, I could subtract 5 from 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. So the base of the triangle is 3, and its height is 4. The area of the rectangle will be 5 times 4, which is 20, so 20 square units for the rectangle. And the area for the triangle will be half of 4 times 3, or 4 times 3 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, so the area of the triangle is 6 square units. Add the two areas together, and the total area of the base is 26 units squared for one base. Find the volume of this trapezoidal prism. I'm going to treat it as two prisms, a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. The dimensions for the rectangular prism are 4 by 12 by 5. So we multiply 4 times 12 times 5. It has a volume of 240 units to the third power, or 240 cubic units. We need to add that to the volume of the triangular prism. 
Since it's a triangular prism, we can treat it like a rectangular prism, but then we need to divide it by two because it's a triangular prism, which is half of a rectangular prism. It has dimensions three by four by 12. So we multiply three times four times 12. And then we'll cut that in half by dividing it by two. The area of this triangular prism is 72 units cubed. Add them together and you'll find that the volume of this trapezoidal prism is 312 units cubed. Problem number three from seventh grade unit four lesson nine. For each diagram, decide if y is an increase or a decrease of x. Then determine the percentage that x increased or decreased to result in y. Let's take a look at x. Notice that it's only the shaded blue part. The three shaded blue sections plus the white section on the right total the same length as y. You'll notice that the blue sections, x, is divided up into three-thirds. The increase from x going to y is the same as one of the x's thirds. So the increase is equal to a third of x. And a third is equal to 33 and a third percent. So the increase is 33 and a third percent of x. B. Again, x is the blue shaded part and there's three-thirds shaded in. y is five-thirds the length of x. X going to Y means that 3 thirds went to 5 thirds. So we know that Y is an increase of X. That's an increase of 2 thirds of X. Y is an increase of 66 and 2 thirds percent of X. C. This time Y is smaller than X. So we know that it's a decrease. And it looks like it decreases 1 third of X. And 1 third is 33 and a third percent. So y is a decrease of 33 and one third percent of x. D, y is smaller than x, so y is a decrease of x, and it looks like it decreased two thirds of x. And two thirds is 66 and two thirds percent. So y is a 66 and two thirds percent decrease of x. Problem number four from 7th grade unit 4 lesson 10. Noah is visiting his aunt in Texas. He wants to buy a belt buckle whose price is $25. He knows the sales tax in Texas is 6.25%. A. How much will the tax be on the belt buckle? The price of the belt buckle, $25, times the tax rate, which is 0.0625. And that'll give you the tax on the belt buckle. B. How much will Noah spend for the belt buckle, including tax? Well, that would be the price of the belt buckle, $25, plus the tax. He would spend a total of $26.56. C. Write an equation that represents the total cost, C, of an item whose price is P. The total cost equals, or C equals, 1.0625 times P. The 1 represents one belt buckle times its price, P, and the .0625 represents the tax rate times the price of the item. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it. See you next time.